Hi there, and welcome to the BSSS eContent Radio. My name is Piyush Pradhan, and I belong from the Department of English. We are going to look at the chapter, The Cherry Tree by Ruskin Bond. Here is the summary of the chapter. The story of The Cherry Tree by Ruskin Bond actually revolves around the concepts of duty, responsibility, perseverance, and of course, the pride of an adult man. We are looking at one of the protagonists named Rakesh, who digs the ground with a spade and plants a seed of a cherry tree at his grandfather's garden in Missouri. The plant is in the corner of the garden and is protected from wind and snow. However, soon Rakesh, the character, forgets about the seed and he becomes extremely busy listening stories and reading newspapers along with his grandfather every morning. Now, gradually, he witnesses that the winter passes by and spring arrives. Meanwhile, the seed that he has sown continued to grow. One day, he was able to observe a beautiful bird and that bird was trying to nest on the plant. And he also witnesses some little twigs with one or two leaves on it. So he instantly recalled that, oh, it is that cherry tree which I have actually sown as a seed and now it has grown up to become a plant and further to become a full-fledged tree. So this was a seed that he sowed at least an year ago. When he discussed some matters, some household matters with his grandfather, he in between was stopped and was made concentrated by the grandfather that he should take some special care of the cherry tree and a timely care can actually help the cherry tree to get protected and become a full-grown tree. He was also told by grandfather that he should place some pebbles surrounding the tree so that it can be protected by um, some animals. Now, Rakesh's interest has actually stoked. He observes the plant every morning and see it grows, but is disappointed that it grows too slowly. The monsoon season shooted up the tree's, tree's growth rate now, finally, and that truly has excited Rakesh a lot. He goes back to his parents, works in a farm, and help parents in sowing and planting crops, forgetting that he has actually planted a cherry tree somewhere. So we have witnessed that in two different occasions, the even the slightest picture of the cherry tree is completely um, gone away from his brain, but he was able to recall it somehow. By the time he comes back, the cherry tree reached up to its chest height. He witnesses some insects and doesn't bother to swat those insects away. Plus, he was able to witness a hairy caterpillar feeding on the leaves of the tree. He tries to hold it by placing that beautiful little cute caterpillar from the surface of the leaf and put it somewhere on the dry surface. Again in autumn, he witnessed that due to heavy weight of snow, the cherry tree bulges, as well as the roads also got blocked that truly has frustrated not only Rakesh, but his grandfather. It's because he got the frustration due to non-supply of newspaper, due to so much of heavy snow on the road. And every day the grandfather was accustomed to reading these newspapers. Now, 
One thing we can notice through this particular chapter of the cherry tree is that the cherry tree is a symbol of absolute survival. As once, the tree got almost eaten by a goat and been cut with the grass. The cherry tree shows a great form of resilience and displays the capacity to withstand all adversities of life. We will also notice that there is a very strong bond between this character Rakesh and his beloved tree and it is of utmost care and the nurturing that Rakesh has done, the kind of sweat and blood that he has shed to nurture this seed, see it to grow into plant and further to witnesses as a full grown tree. And it took at least three long years for this plant to become a tree. We are now going to look at the exercise part where we're going to look at the chapter exercises, including question and answers, plus some other related chapter exercises. In this part of the slide, we are looking at the glossary very carefully. The first word, blossom. It means the state of flowering. The second word, circled, the area enclosed by a circle. Third, gazed, to look for a long time with unwavering attention. Plodded, to walk with slow, heavy steps. And then we have got the word stumbles. It means to trip when walking or running. Pushing along further to take up the other aspects of this video, this slide is going to cover up the chapter exercises. We are going to take up some short answer types and long answer type questions. The short answer types will be of one or two lines each. The first question. Nothing is lucky if you put it away. You must make it work for you. What did grandfather want Rakesh do with the cherry seed? Now, some of my audiences might think that, why is that this question is so lengthy and bulky? Well, sometimes in order to make out the absolute sense, we have to frame such questions in their exact and original way. The second question, why did Rakesh find newspaper reading rather dull? Question number three, why was the cherry tree very special for Rakesh and his granddaughter? Now, having done with these three short answer type questions, we are looking at the long answer types with at least 100 word each. The first one, but the cherry plant had no intention of dying. Do you agree with it? Well, over here in the first part, you can see that it was a part of the statement or perhaps a quotation that we have extracted and try to frame it as a question. Now comes question number two. Sketch the character of Rakesh as given in this story. Of course, when once we are thorough with the use of our chapter summary, it's a piece of cake for us to actually define the character sketch of this particular character. And the last question. Mention the two incidents that almost destroyed the cherry plant. Over here in this slide, we have now reached to the end section where we're going to look at the other aspects of the exercises. As this part talks about how to find single words in the text for the following. The first, second and third are the three different things that I have taken up. First is empty or almost empty. Second, walk slowly and with difficulty. And third, sharp taste or flavor. Hope my audiences have actually understood. And in the section down below, we're going to look at the vocabulary where we will be learning to match the words exactly with the meanings. We have got three words in fact with us, stem, twig, and foliage. 
Thank you so much for being with me. And I'm going to come up with a new video soon. Goodbye.